Hello, I have prescribed transdermal buprenorphine as part of your pet's post-operative pain management protocol. This is a narcotic paste with the active ingredient being absorbed directly through the skin. We give it twice a day. Your discharge statement will tell you when to give the first dose, and after that, it's basically morning and evening until the syringe is empty. In the kit, you will receive the syringe with the 10 doses, and each dose is one-tenth of a milliliter, and we put black lines on the syringe barrel to indicate the distance between each subsequent dose. You'll also receive a photograph like this with the inside of the ear flap shaded blue to indicate the target area. This is where we want you to apply the paste because that's a hairless portion of the body and your animal can't lick it off. We want the drug getting into your pet's bloodstream, not your bloodstream, so we will provide you with a small supply of finger cots, which are single finger latex gloves. So if anyone in your family has a latex allergy, um, they should find somebody else to uh, apply this so that they're not coming in contact with the latex. To, um, to dose your pet, what you're going to do is take the syringe, remove the blue cap, extrude the dose, one-tenth of a milliliter onto your finger, which should be about that amount. Put the cap back on the syringe for safety then rub that paste on the inside of your pet's ear flap. We generally recommend alternating sides and because it rhymes, I say right at night. When you've finished rubbing it in, you can just roll the finger cut off and dispose of it. And then you might consider removing the excess paste from the other ear with a moist paper towel or a Kleenex. Now the beauty of this delivery system is it allows you to dose your pet on schedule without having to touch their mouth, which is very important. Your discharge statement will include instructions that you're not to touch your pet's mouth at all for 14 days. And also we're not putting anything on the food that might dissuade your pet from eating. It's very important that they continue to eat during healing. Now narcotics can cause some sedation and that's okay because it's important to rest during healing. But if you feel your pet is too sedate while being treated with transdermal buprenorphine, Give us a call or send an email before giving the next dose, and we may adjust the dose down or suggest that you skip a dose altogether. And as with any medications, if you have any questions or concerns about how the animal is responding to them, do please be in touch. And one final warning, if anybody in the household has an allergy to narcotics, they should not touch the paste and they shouldn't touch the pet's ears during the time when it's being treated. Again, any questions or concerns, please get in touch. Thank you very much.